Hi, Aries, getting ready to do your love reading. It's a mini mid love mid month love reading. And this is for Aries. Let's see where you guys are headed or what's going on with you. All right. Oh, the Knight of Cups. Crossed by the Five of Coin. I'm cups, I'm sorry. It could be a situation at work. Maybe someone is offering love, but you just don't see it. It could be someone from the past. Definitely seems like it's something where there's a group of people. It could be from a um, fellow fire sign like yourself or a Leo or Sagittarius. I don't think you like the offer though, but you're on the right path. Maybe you should give them a chance, but you don't really want to. So maybe something you need to think about. Under the deck is manifest. So maybe you do need to take this opportunity because some of you may have be having, you know, you're just kind of stuck in the past and you're looking at it and you don't really want to start dating someone new. Okay. So let me see. Let's clarify. So this Knight of Cups, um, could be a knight of swords maybe you're coming back at them with a the knight of swords energy you just are not interested um of course can be well i don't want to go into all the signs because it really can be anything i just feel like maybe you're not really interested maybe they pursue pursue you a little bit harder though once you tell them no okay five of cups page of coin i'm definitely kind of getting for some of you this is at work this is or a situation where you're school working learning where you go do things. Um, page of coin is a message also. So it could be a message they sent you and you're just kind of looking at it. You're not really that interested. It's not love to you. It's just, um, you know, an offering to go out. You kind of look kind of complacent. Like it's not good. It's not bad. You're like, yeah, whatever. Okay. Eight of coin. You're defending yourself. You, they may be coming at you quite hard. Now, this can be someone from your past who's coming back around them with all this energy like that. They may be trying to get back into your life and you're just like, no, no way. Um, you're, you're fighting off their, their advances. You're too busy, you know, working on yourself. Uh, with the Five of Cups energy, again, maybe they did something in the past that really hurts you and you're just not really, you're not interested whatsoever with, with what they have to say. Six of Cups, Knight of Rods now. So you have a lot of knights here. So that is moving, moving on. Maybe they moved on. Maybe they decided that the relationship wasn't worth working on and they took off. Um, so then you finally are feeling like you're over the pain. You're moving on. And here they come back around for your coin. Hierophant. Yeah, this could be, again, your foundation is three of coin, which is to me working together. It can be a group of people or can also be just two people to, to me. Um, Hierophant could mean a relationship, a partnership, definitely. Uh, again, if this is also something that's going on in the workplace, you're at work with the Hierophant, and it could be someone definitely pursuing you there. So every time you go to work or even school, this person is bothering you. I feel like you don't care for this person whatsoever. King of Wands, King of Wands, your energy, strength. Yeah, I feel like you're just doing what you need to do. You're being strong, you're moving forward. You're in your power, male or female, as the king of wands. It's like you have things to do. You're focused on yourself and not this person um, or what they're saying. Yeah, this was a past relationship, I feel, for a lot of you with the four of cups. It is a love relationship. Um, or, again, if this is something that you're, someone is pursuing you, they do like you. I'm almost getting also that this is something that you may want to pursue because they may be a very good partner for you, even though at the time you're not interested, you are still healing from the past, but let's keep going here. The star card is, again, six of cups, acts of kindness. Um, I feel a sneeze, so hang on. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, goodness, I'm sorry. I have allergies right now. Okay, Six of Cups can be someone definitely from the past, but the card also does mean acts of kindness, like childish or kind, just sweet, innocent gestures. They're, they're supposed to be like, I think, a brother and sister on that card, and, and this one, he's giving her flowers, right? So there's like just being kind. Um, so here, again, maybe they just want to be kind. Maybe this person just likes you, but you're just like, mm, five of wands, five of wands. 
ten of coin. You want something long term. You want something stable. Could be someone also that's related to your past or your family. Could be that the person you're with for some of you was a long term relationship, and you are, you are having a hard time letting that go because it was a long term thing. Hermit. Well, the hermit's telling you just to, same thing. Eight of coin. Work. Focus on you, your money, maybe work or your schoolwork, or just focus on what you need to get done. Give it time. This isn't anything that needs to be rushed. So for any of you, yeah, heal. Just heal. Work on your own life. Work on your own things that you need to do. Could also be someone trying to be kind to you, like I was saying, in a non-relationship way. But... Let's pull a romance card now and see for you guys what the message can be for this reading. I'm going to pull a couple of them. So I just get like you just aren't in the mood. You're just not in the mood for this person, whoever they are, whether they're from the past, whether they're new. Um, even if it's, it's like, even if they are just being, trying to be kind and supportive, you find them annoying. Okay. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And I do kind of feel like there's someone around you who is trying to be nice, who is trying to be kind, who is trying to offer love or friendship or something along that line, and you don't really, you don't really want to. You just want to kind of focus on work and not really let them in. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So again, um, if it's this is not someone new that you're thinking is the right one, then maybe. Um, you know, you just got to wait. Like things, offers come in. You're waiting for the right one. You're, you're waiting for that right person. Again, some of you are still just not ready, so it's okay. It'll happen when it happens. You're hoping this maybe someone will be the right one, but I don't feel just they're not. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So for some of you, see, that's what I'm feeling. For some of you, for a few of you, you're going to give this person a chance. And it's not the person from the past, someone new. Others of you, it's, it's not the right time and you don't want to and you won't. So this is going to read different for different people. But I can see that there's someone who is trying to get your attention. It's okay to let them in. It's okay to get to know them. Um, if it's not the right person, you know, the right one will come along when the timing is right. If you do like this person, then go ahead and, you know, I don't know if it has to be romantic gestures and if you need to express your love, I feel like they're expressing love to you for some of you, but I don't feel like you need to back. If you don't feel like it, don't. But don't let an opportunity pass you by. Do look at it and see what this person has to offer because I just, I feel like there is something there, but again... I can tell some of you just aren't ready. You haven't healed from the past and you just aren't ready. So it's okay. So this, is, hope this helps. Have a great week and take care.